What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, coming back at you with some more news, man. So I want to talk about this Keith Thurman Errol Spence situation, man. I'm seeing a lot of um, boxing websites and boxing news saying that um, Keith Thurman is ducking Errol Spence and he's scared of Errol Spence, man. That's not true. I mean, everybody have their own opinion, but it's just not true, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm reading between the lines. You know, at one point, first of all, I can't see why he would be scared of uh, Errol Spence. You know, in the beginning of his career, every, I see everybody saying that, um, oh, he changed up his stance and how he was in the beginning. Um, shout out to 78 Sports TV. Shout out to Ticket TV. I, I saw um, their videos on these topics. You know what I'm saying? And I see that um, I actually I actually listened to um, 78 Sports uh, video earlier. You know, on the topic with Keith Thurman before he uh, won the championship, but before he, you know, today's time, before current time, and um, and my my response to that is that um, you know, I think I think at one point, you know, he was he was actually contacting Seventy Eight Sports and doing interviews, and he sound much hungrier at that time. But um, you know, the dude is the he's a different type of dude to begin with, and I think that now, you know, um. His approach is different. You know, at that time when he was um, trying to get the belt, trying to get fame and trying to be noticed, you know, um, you go through the city and kick buildings now. You know what I'm saying? And um, he, he he called out Miguel Cotto. He called out Floyd Mayweather. He called out Canelo Alvarez and so on and so on, man. He was calling out any and every boxer. Timothy Bradley. He was contacting... Um, I mean, he was calling out um, any and all boxes, man. Kel Brook, uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao, you know. He was calling out because he was trying to make a name, you know what I'm saying? And um, now I think that he's he's the man, you know what I'm saying? He's uh, The title of um, 78 Sports TV video was um, uh, um, when Keith Thurman was the hunter, uh, opposed to now he's the hunted, you know what I'm saying? And um, shout out to 78 Sports, man. Got some good good videos, man. Good quality shit, man. Hey man, ticket TV, man. Um, but um, you know, my opinion on the situation is I don't think that Keith Thurman is actually scared of Errol Spence. I don't think he's ducking Errol Spence or none of that, man. I think that his approach to the fight is different. And he suffered two injuries, man. We forget about the two injuries that he suffered. Cause he 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 was coming off an injury before the Sean Porter fight. Before he fought Sean Porter and um and Danny Garcia, he had an injury, and now he's coming off an elbow injury. You know what I'm saying? And when you are the champion, you know, at once upon a time, um, if you know your history of boxing, man, you know, um, Floyd Mayweather was calling any and everybody out, man. He was calling out Oscar De La Hoya. He was calling out um, uh, uh, Casa Mayor. He was calling out um, Shane Mosley. He was calling out all these dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? Floyd Mayweather get a bad rap for all fighting these dudes when they was older. That's not true, man. You know what I'm saying? Floyd Mayweather once upon a time was calling these dudes out and these dudes was like he wasn't ready and he, you know, it wasn't worth the risk and so on and so on, man. And once Floyd Mayweather became the man, um, he no longer was calling people out. People was calling him out and he was taking his time and deciphering, you know, going through everything and fi figuring out who he's fighting and that's how he was doing it. You know what I'm saying? Smart, ta smart tactics, excuse me. You know, so that's what I that's what I believe Keith Thurman is. That's that's his stance now. You know what I'm saying? Keith Thurman now is like, listen, okay, Errol Spence is, is you know, he's the man right now, you know, the name, should I say. He's the um the prospect, you know, that everybody he's the blue chipper, should I say, you know, everybody's saying is taking over the welterweight division. You know, I you know what I'm saying, Keith for Keith for people to say that Keith Thurman is scared or ducking him, I doubt that, man. You know what I'm saying? I highly doubt that. You know, um, he's going to take the fight. And it's, it's promotion. You know, it's part of promotion. You know, I just saw a shout out to Dante Boxing Nation, man. I just saw the, um, the video he did with uh, Errol Spence announcing his fight with um, Lamont Peterson. Um, and Keith Thurman was on the stage, man. It's all about promoting. You know what I'm saying? And Keith Thurman is a humble dude, man. So his approach to it is different, man. So I see people like, oh man, this dude is um when when Spence is around, you know what I'm saying, you know, his 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 uh body language change. Well, 
You know what I'm saying? I, the dude ain't scared of Errol Spence, man. And I, and me personally, I think that he's going to win that fight against Errol Spence. I think that he's going to outbox Errol Spence. Is it an easy fight? No. Is it a 50-50 fight? Yes. You know what I'm saying? So I think that it's going to be a, 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 a great fight. I don't think Keith Thurman is, is ducking him. You know what I'm saying? Coming off an elbow injury... Errol Spence ain't the man to fight, man. You want to be at 100%. So, like he said, he's going to take a tune-up fight. Then he's going to have the rematch fight, which was should have took place first. Because if you really think about it, before the injury, he was going to have the rematch fight first with either with either Garcia or Porter. And then he was going to have the fight. Then the fight with Errol Spence would have took place. But since the injury, now he's going to have a tune-up fight a comeback fight, then the rematch fight, and then it'll be Errol Spence, man. Because I see people saying that, oh, when he was asked <clears throat> on when Dante interviewed him, I, I personally was standing right there, man. When he when Dante interviewed him and asked him about the Errol Spence fight, he didn't say, he didn't stumble over his words, and he didn't say, oh, um, I don't know uh, if Errol Spence even knows when the fight is going to take place. That's not what he said. He said that... The promoters and the contract, you know, and uh, um, after his comeback fight and after his rematch fight, he don't have the exact date. And he was saying Errol Spence don't have the exact date and neither do the promoters and he didn't get a contract. And then I see um, people saying on other videos like, oh, he's he was using a contract. Oh, I never saw a contract for Errol Spence. But what people are missing is prior to you seeing him saying that. Oh, he didn't see a contract from Errol Spence. He also was asked about two other fighters, and he said the same response. He was asked about Jesse Vargas, and he said, I didn't see a contract from Jesse Vargas to know about that fight taking place, so I don't know if that's going to be the comeback fight. He was asked about another fight I can't remember offhand, and he said, I, again, I didn't see a contract for that guy, so I don't know when that's taking place. And then Dante asked him about... Errol Spence, and he said, I didn't see a contract for that fight, so I don't know when that fight is going to take place, but I see people are making it as if uh, he was saying, yo, I didn't see a contract for Errol Spence, so I don't know when that's taking place. He was asked about three fighters at that moment, and Errol Spence was the last fighter, which Dante asked him. Other people was asking him questions, and that was the last fight. When that The last video you see is when um, the last response to Errol Spence is, is, is after he said the same exact thing about Jesse Vargas. So is he, he ducking Jesse Vargas? Come on, man. He ain't ducking Jesse Vargas. And he said the same thing about another fighter, and I forgot who that fighter him. Uh, oh, Omar Figueroa. It was uh, Omar Figueroa. So he was asked about Figueroa. Then he was asked about um, Jesse Vargas. And then he, he had the comment about Errol Spence. So, but he said he had the same response about Errol Spence as he did for, for Figueroa. Figueroa, I can't, I don't know if I'm saying the shit correct. Figueroa or, and Jesse Vargas. So is he ducking those two fighters? I highly doubt it, man. You know what I'm saying? This fight is going to be, they're going to promote it. You know what I'm saying? He's not ducking him. He's going to take the fight. I'm pretty sure. He said that he's going to, he's going to fight three times this year. That's what he said. So I'm pretty sure at the end of this this year, I mean the end of 2018, we'll get the the Spence Th Keith Thurman fight. He ain't ducking him, man. He ain't scared of Errol Spence, man. He was calling out other big names, Canelo Alvarez. So now all of a sudden he got the belt and he's scared of Errol Spence. Nah, he's not scared of Errol Spence, man. But um, that fight is gonna take place, and I personally think that Keith Thurman is gonna win that fight. I think that he's gonna outbox Errol Spence. He's gonna stay away. He's gonna he's gonna win on points. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough fight, man. But I personally got Keith Thurman women winning that fight. So, you know, he, the dude ain't scared of Errol Spence, man. Did his body language and his, 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 the way he approached the game today's time, did that change? Yeah, it definitely did change. You know, one, one time, one time Thurman and calling out every fight and I'm not, I got an O and I ain't afraid to let it go. His whole, that whole model changed, man. You know what I'm saying? Even when... Yesterday I was interviewing him and um, Dante's Boxing was, Nation was interviewing him and other um, people was interviewing him. Man, the dude, the dude body language was totally different, man. The, the, the dude body language was totally different, man. His whole approach to life has changed, not just to boxing. So, you know, 
Well, I'm sure they're going to get it on, man. Can't wait, man. So that's all I got for y'all right now, man. Blue Blood Sports TV, man. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. That's all I got for y'all. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button on my videos, man. Peace. Keep my tool around here, my act a fool around.